<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's part 87. The bite of 87. I'm going to bite into another Creature, creature Comforts Brewing Co. Because I visited their uh, brewery yesterday. I went out of my way to go there. And uh, Tart Fruity Vibrant Paradiso. Athena Paradiso. Tart Fruited Ale. Watermelon and Salt. It's called an ale, even though it's got salt in it. What makes something a uh, <laughs> uh, ghost? Because I thought what made a ghost beer was like that salty kind of nature. Can is so pretty. Yeah, I really like this uh, brewery. It's probably the best Georgia one, even though I haven't been to any others, but like just based on what I see on tap and the things that I've had from them. Mmm. Ah. Oh. I like that a lot. That's actually somehow... I was expecting everything that I had in person to be not as good in a can. This is one where I feel like it's better in a can. Slightly different. A little bit more watermelony than the one I had on tap yesterday. Mmm. That's delicious. It's not too tart. It's not too salty either. That's a nice, refreshing beer, and it is 4.5%. And they got pretty good can designs, too. They gave me a free sticker. Because I bought, like, a few cases of beer, and I was like... I was. What's funny about them giving me a free sticker is I saw the stickers on sale uh, at the counter... And they were $1.99 US each. And I thought, I really wanted to say to them, like, you know furries just give away free stickers, right? <laughs> you go to a con, like, you just, you, people just give stickers away for free. They cost nothing. I, I yeah, really wanted to just, I really just wanted to tell them, like, the stickers are for marketing, right? You want people to have stickers so that more people see your branding, right? But then, before I said anything, she just gave me a free sticker, so it worked out. I wasn't going to say anything, but I was- I had that thought in my head of being an asshole. All right, so, uh, here I go. Let's go up. Uh, wait, is it down? No, it's this way. It's up. You went to a concert and up the band gave me free clip. stickers? Yeah. Fucking. Damn. If our. If the merch store wasn't through Shopify and we had, like, an actual warehouse or something, I'd be throwing in free stickers, okay? If you order. a. T <laughs> a 12 pack of Bad Dragon Cum Lube, they give you free stickers. <laughs> Don't ask me how I that know that. <laughs> we already know how you know that. Yeah, so don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a salted sour, but good point. I don't know if using salt automatically makes it a ghost. Okay, well, this is salt and tart. It's kind of sour. Oh, there's a... What? I've already fought you. Yeah, Tibia Mariner Wait. is like a recurring boss. But yeah, you... you do go past Tibia Mariner. Oh, we got Tibia on my Marinara sauce. How come I didn't do any damage? For reference, because you're not fighting the skeleton. You're looking for oh. a guy in a boat. Oh, that's why. The skeleton well, why is just don't a I, summon. Uh... Before I do anything. Oh, I see it. Like that yeah, I also see boat. it. I'm just gonna do this first. And that. And this. It'd be funny if my uh, mimic spawned a horse, too. It's not gonna yeah. happen, but it'd be great. I like when bosses kill their friends sometimes. 
Yeah, that's fine. Aluga. This guy is so lame. A mesh. A wooga mesh. Uh, furry garuga mesh should be a wooga mesh. Wow, this boss sucks. Yeah. Uh, I think I can actually list that as a no hit. <laughs> no, I got hit. Oh, you got Did hit? I? Well, I don't have full health right yeah. now. Uh, but I might have not. I wonder where my health came from. I I'll just do the 100. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it was a no hit. Oh, my summon's way, still kicking ass. Skeletons, you have to hit them while they're down or they respawn. I forgot about that. Yeah. To be a mariner, I'll just put the 100 there. Ow. Oh yeah, I was going somewhere. <laughs> uh Oh yeah, and I was going to see where that thing was pointing to. Might as well do that. Going to Zaddy's place. What? Zack Snyder? Do I have to press this thing again? No, it's just very faint. Zack Snyder, director of Army of the Dead Pixels. It's un it's absolutely unacceptable, the condition that that movie was released in. <laughs> Pretty fucking bad. Because you can yeah. still fix it. They could just patch it now. They don't care. Like th those are those are fixable issues. Yeah, I was my own DP. I was my own DP because <laughs> there's a very specific look for how I wanted the movie to look. Because I'm just like I'm a, kind of a visual director, you know. I'm a, it's very visual. I want to have that control. Zack Snyder is so. Shit. I don't I don't know what else to say. <laughs> He's just very not great. Has anyone bothered with the R-rated Rebel Moon? Is that out? It would still be boring. Uh, I think there's a trailer for it, but I'm glad that other people are kind of realizing that it's a scam, because it's not like he had to censor the <laughs> film for Netflix, they're just deciding to release an extended version and calling it a director's cut is what they're doing. Oh yeah, I forgot about the skeleton thing. <laughs> Fucking- Oh, get away! Stupid thing on my Rebel screen. Moon, like, tell me the name of one character from Rebel Moon. Uh, Aragorn. Correct. Yep. Gladril. It was literally just Star Wars fan fiction. Rebel Moon is like the white bread of movies. Like nothing happens that's like remotely interesting. It's the moldy bread of movies. White bread's good. It is. Okay. Yeah, Don't true. About white bread. I'm sorry. Look, I'm going to make... When I'm president, I'm going to put a label on every uh, white bread that says, it's okay to be white. <laughs> uh. And if you can't handle that, then I suggest you fucking leave the country. <laughs> oh, love old fucking like SJW versus anti SJW shit. Yeah, but it, like to be fair, a lot of it is just like people taking the bait. Which just yeah. people people didn't realize how that worked in 2016 and then Trump got elected. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Yeah. You all just kind of did that. You all just kind of let that yeah. happen. I 
it's always funny to look back on those times. Funny and sad. Like, what? there's, like, this one woman who shows up in, like, all the fucking, like, thumbnails. Uh, oh, yeah, for, like, the triggered videos. The... Yeah, and it drives me crazy, because if you watch the actual video... It's because you can see her video, neck muscle. She... If you watch the actual video, she's perfectly calm. She's just expressive, I guess. She wasn't even triggered. I mean, you just... It, the, the point is they found someone who's, like, I don't know, feminine presenting, kind of, but also has short hair. And yeah. then it's like, okay, well, this is now the poster child for triggered liberals. No, not the... You're thinking of Big Red, Cersei. Uh... Big Red was, like, deserved criticism. <laughs> yeah, Although it's funny, it, and it, at the same time, it is also kind of weird that uh, she keeps showing up in thumbnails even though she hasn't existed for, like, a decade. <laughs> yeah. Kinda, she hasn't, heard. like, been doing anything. She's been, like, out of the public yeah, eye it's... and has, just kind of wants to be left alone, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's very annoying. I'm kind of surprised. Um, like... All right, so do I go... Oh, I want to uh, go You there. have to go through, like, that mountain pass there, yeah. Yeah. I, like, just watched a video that said what Big Red's up to, and I forgot already. Uh, I don't know. I don't see a lot of discussion of, like, Triglypuff. That one seems to be forgotten. The classic. He bear hates me, chop this campus! Imagine making Steven Crowder look good. That... Was that Steven Crowder or Milo Yiannopoulos? Both of them was... were there. Oh, okay. It was Milo Yiannopoulos, Steven Crowder, and Lauren Southern. Oh. Steven Crowder is, like, the world's most unfunny man. He can be funny sometimes. But he's a piece of shit. <laughs> when is he funny? <laughs> like, he's just a he racist. He was funny. He, I mean, he was funny when he was doing an impression of Jenk from TYT. <laughs> I, did, I actually did find that funny. <laughs> that was like... He, he's done some, like, kind of character impression stuff that I've actually found, like, pretty funny. Like, if he wasn't a huge piece of shit, it would just be like, oh, you're... It, it's like a, almost like a Saturday Night Live performance or something. Well, he was a voice actor. Uh, which, yeah, an ar arter. The funniest thing about that is that there was actually an episode where his character, Brain, tries to get into stand-up comedy, and was the entire conflict is like... Yes, and there was an entire conflict. Like, the whole conflict was Arthur and his friends being like, we need to stop him before he embarrasses himself because he's so unfunny. <laughs> Very prophetic. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's 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 funny. It, it's really actually kind of simple. Uh, like, whether or not Steven Crowder is, like, being funny or, like, successful in some way. Because he does impressions a lot. The good ones are, like, when he does actual... Like, when he impersonates an actual person. The bad ones are when he just impersonates a race. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, okay. <laughs> like, literally, you're just gonna do the whole Ching Chong thing, and that's it? Like, all right, where's the... Yeah. Where's the joke? Mickey Rooney in Breakfast at Tiffany's type shit. Mm. Where the joke is really just making fun of, like, Asian people. It's a real uh, wanted-to-be ninja type. Uh, comedy. I don't. I really don't know anybody who's like good at racist humor other than like Scott. Because at least it I was mean, all, even like, even him. then, I love the guy, but he was fucking pushing. It. <laughs> that is true. There I were had to a tell him to tone it down so many like... times. I'm like, can you not say that on my stream? Please? There were a few jokes that were kind of like, Ugh. but can at you least just save it, it for your like... demonetized podcast instead. 
It, it was obvious, uh, that, like... He was uh, just a little racist as a treat. He didn't believe anything he said, obviously. Uh, I always got annoyed with people who, like, complained that he was too edgy, though. Because, like... It's like, the joke is on him. It's not like he buys this shit. Steven Crowder makes fun of Asian people because he, like, actually looks down at them. I heard that I was racist because I gave Trap by M. Night a 3 out of 10. So... No, you're racist because uh, you liked the music in Moonlight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also not liking Old Boy. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like... I definitely could have phrased that better, but I wouldn't have known that, like... It would, it would literally just... Before. I, w I wouldn't have known that people who don't know anything about me would would be sharing that clip out of context as if it as if it's like oh Adam thinks r and b music is uh like Neanderthal lesser music and just classical he's mm -hmm. a i'm i'm yeah I'm all about that like traditional art right I'm not a bit <laughs> come on like you don't know anything about it. anybody who's watched any one of my reviews since like before I was doing the uh, royalty-free epidemic sound stuff, would know how much fucking hip hop <laughs> I listened to because it was in my reviews. <laughs> Those were like all my backing tracks. Mm -hmm. um, or just yeah, look at look at my crazy. fucking Spotify playlist. Why don't you? It's got a bunch of R and Literally, music. all you did was like just. Compliment the I, soundtrack. I for complimented not being it unoriginal. for not being a Tyler Perry movie, which I think is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, and it's a it's a it's a fair thing to mention in a review because there's a lot of people that are looking for a good movie with black people in it that don't want to watch a Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> you know, and I thought Ooh, I was helping promote that. But I guess I just I guess I just didn't phrase myself correctly. Nah, uh, you're just a big ol' racist. Look, you're, horses you're can't like be racist. Tomorrow's, you're like a Tomorrow's Teachings character. I don't even have a stone sword key! Where do I uh, get one? You can probably buy some from the Twin Maiden Husks. Fuck. Who are in Round Table Hold. That was very Wait, was close to going? Death Blight. You were so close to dying. <laughs> Shut the up. The bar was almost full. So okay, here, I want to go just south, and then I'm there. So I also not only I want I not only want to go south, but I'm gonna leave a marker here so that I remember that I want to get a stone sword key to go in there and not think that I've already done it, sort of thing. I think that makes sense. And then where's my second marker? Where's my number two? Oh, it's a way over there. Okay. I'm not going to worry about this yet because I can't even access this area. But I'll try to remember that that's where I get a map from. All right. So I want to go south. Yeah. And I'll buy a key from a merchant or whatever. And we'll see if there's um, an easier... Uh, I guess Seathwater River... Oh! Is not a bad uh, sight of grace. It's not like impossible to get back here. So, yeah, why why the river farting now? What the heck? Oh, do I want to actually be up there to get the thing? Okay, I came from here, so I probably want to go around. Yeah, you're going the correct direction. Whip. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete that comment. Oh, didn't even see it. Yeah. It's kind of funny because I never even really, like, thought of that. 
what? as racist before, but then when someone pointed it out, I was like, oh yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> of what? Uh, the, the funny way to say Shyamalan, but like... Yeah, you know, time. I, uh... Even when I was, like, making my videos in... When I was, like, 19 years old about M. Night. Like, that was my M. Night review. Even then, I, I don't think I ever said that. Because it always kind of felt weird. Pretty sure I never say that in my video. Yeah, I, I, I originally just kind of uh, interpreted it as, like, oh, making fun of someone's last name. But it's so, like, in retrospect, it is a bit... Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, now we're, like, culturally aware enough that we can say, like, oh, okay, that's a bit racist. I think, like, at the time when, especially when Shyamalan was, like, such a cultural pillar, you know, where his movies are, like, ah, oh, the twist. And he's, like, literally the only Indian director, Indian-American director that anyone could name. I think people didn't realize that they were doing something that was, like, kind of racist. And then just, you know, over time, you know, just like you said, like, oh, yeah, you can kind of realize eventually, like, oh, yeah, that didn't, yeah, maybe I shouldn't. I don't think, I, I don't think that everyone who's ever said it is, like, necessarily a racist. I just yeah, think no. they've, they've said something racist and probably didn't realize it. Yeah. I, yeah. It was something I didn't really think about, but now it's like. Exactly. I think that's a lot of people's experiences when it comes to uh, that doing that anything like that's the like, you know, perceivedly problematic or whatever. I don't think, I don't think most people the, are like yeah. malicious. Like the fucking G slur for like Romani people. I just assumed that's what they were called when I was a kid. I didn't yeah, I had no idea. I didn't even know it referred to Romani people. And also, they said it in the Kimba show. <laughs> they did say it in the Kimba show. Also, okay, I keep I going the, name of the, the wrong way. Okay, um, how did I so get here? You're going the right way. Right. I am going the right way. Yeah, back out. Aren't on I that. like? Oh, yeah, you're I'm going down. the right way. I was just here. Go up okay. to that castle. Oh, here we go. On the other side of the castle, there's going to be a bunch of lava. And you have okay. to, like, go across that. I got confused because... Oh. This makes you more sense. You were going sense. the correct direction. I tested Oof. this myself. So, Quentin Tarantino coined the Shamalama ding ding <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Uh, that's what people on Twitter were saying, and then someone else in chat said that they only knew of it because Quentin Tarantino said it. So I don't know if if he origin if that's the origin of it, but it also it also sounds like something he would probably say. And also, probably does Quentin Tarantino not like M Night Shyamalan? Was it a line I mean, in one probably. of his movies, or did he say it in an interview? Because those are very different things. In Quentin Tarantino's movies, he, he gives himself the excuse to say the N-word, okay? Because he's acting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Hunchback of Notre Dame is why I didn't think it was a slur. They used it so many times. Nice. Remember when Disney used to be based? Now they're cringe. Yeah, Disney's woke now. They're so woke, this company, that just refuses to put queer oh, bubbles in made cocks! Rules. <laughs> Fuck! Because then they can't get Chinese money. Alright, let's do this. And then... RUN! <laughs> Fucking Christ, no! I just halved my health, too! Oh! I, uh, I did it! We're good! We're good! This is going get back great. on my horse! Oi! Oh, oh, horsey! No, my horse, and I'm dead. Well, my friend's Rip. alive. Maybe they'll do it. He was talking about his favorite movies, and he said Unbreakable, and then he said Shyamalan and Ding Dong. <laughs> Can That's I find... incredible. I think I just need to, like, look this up. I want to see that know... clip. That sounds fucking incredible. All right, let's see.
All right, 16 seconds clip on YouTube. Quentin Tarantino says M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong. <laughs> <laughs> and the final film on my uh, I can't wait to hear uh, alphabetically. This. Okay, I'm just going to I'm you're not able to hear it right now, so I'm just I'm just listening to it uh just cuz I can't do it on the other thing, so just uh, be silent for 16 seconds while I listen. Hold on. And the final film on my uh, uh alphabetically on my top 20 list is M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong's Unbreakable. M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. M. Night Shyamalan Ding Okay, they're just repeating it a bunch. Uh, so I don't know if he... I don't know if he's the origin of that. Because I think him saying that in a podcast would have been him just, like, saying it as a part of, like, the cultural meme, I guess. Because he says it so casually, and he's not... I don't think he thinks that he was saying it in any kind of, like... Uh, malicious way. I think he was just... Remember, like, M. Night was parodied on, like, Robot Chicken and shit? Mm-hmm. What a twist, like, what yeah. What a twist! Like, that's that's kind of just, like, what his persona was for a while, of just being this, like, kind of quirky, funny guy that made great movies. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, I think Quentin Tarantino's experience probably would have been similar as in just, like, you know, you're a part of the culture, like, in the 90s. And then you say something that's a little racist, but you didn't really realize it was. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things that, like, you look back on it, and it's like, oh, this was kind of bad. I think probably one of the most common ones... There's a lot of, like, fucking, like, sexual assault in a lot of old media... Oh, where yeah. a, a, char- a male character will just kiss a female character and it's supposed to be funny. Like, Mwah. unwilling. Like, oh god. <laughs> Got her. Also, like, there's so much transphobic shit from, like, the 2000s. Uh-huh. Okay, how do I... I guess I'll get off my horse. This is probably not going to work out otherwise. You can also just uh, go around it if you want. It's not required. What do you mean? It's a boss. I mean, you could get the spell and come back. But, but like, the boss is right here. Do. Yeah. And it's easy. Yeah, it's not a tough one. I just goofed really hard. Yeah, I didn't realize you did so much damage to it. Yeah, grown up. I remember there was a bit in um, How I Met Your Mother of all shows. Huh. Where they made a joke about, like, you want to guess which one of these women is a T-slur? You love playing Who's Hot and Who's Scott. Got him! It's like, oh my god. Got that bitch. Can horse go in lava? (laughs) (laughs) What is this again? Oh. All right, horse. You're fine. What's this guy? Yeah, oh, that's not the. around here somewhere. Fuck. There we go. See him over there. Hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, Alexander is in the lava. Transvestigation is pretty funny, especially when it gets thrown back at transphobes. I've seen so many tweets about how J.K. Rowling is a man, and it's so funny. Ah, good lady. I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with blame. It's fun that I can have a conversation in the lava. Mm Mm-hmm. Having a lovely little chat. 
Yeah. Yeah, black mold, that's why. She just had too much brain rot. Oh, it's not hot enough for the jar. Lava isn't hot enough? Okay, sorry, I had to skip your dialogue because I was. Oops, that's the wrong flask. What the fuck is hotter? The sun? Okay. Flame of Ruin. Alright, Horsey, really we're going like in the lava. That... Sorry. That one documentary Whee. was called Fire of Love. That, oh, that was, was like, awesome. a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a great. Oop. I loved the giant turnip. <laughs> There's like a whole bit about what volcanic ash does to crops, and it's just like the biggest fucking turnip I've seen in my life. Mm. So I didn't like. Damn, I didn't think volcanic ash was, like, that good for crops. That's crazy. Yeah, I wonder how that works. Yeah. That one should have won the Oscar. I think it lost True. to True, yeah, what did it lose to? Jet, though. I think it lost to Navalny. Oh, yeah. I didn't even finish Navalny. It was kind of boring. It was so boring! And it didn't say anything new. It was literally just like... Fucking... I don't think... I don't think the Academy watches the documentaries, and they definitely don't watch the shorts. And they don't watch the animated movies. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely do not watch the shorts, because, like... Skin skin is like oh, the most that. cynical win you could ever pick. It's literally yeah. a, a, like we read the description. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking funny. You still need to see the ow, after. Ow, ow. That was such a funny short. Oh yeah. Yeah, I saw it in theaters and I just I was trying not to burst out laughing. <gasps> what is this? Do I hit it? Oh, um, you need to have a tough enemy attack it. What? Yeah, you need to find, like, a big, tough enemy. Mm. And if it hits it, uh, it'll break open and there's an item inside. I wouldn't worry about it right now, personally. It's okay. probably not worth it. Uh, you would probably have to, like, spawn more shit, too. The Academy is, like, known for not watching shit. I mean, yeah, it's documented. It's not, this isn't yeah, it's, speculation. It's literally documented. It's a fact. Like, the Academy voters have been interviewed and just said, like, yeah, I'm voting for this one. I didn't see the other ones, but, you know. <laughs> like, like, this is, yeah. I'm not lying. It sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. It's so bad. I like put me on the academy. The academy fucking sucks. And it's so annoying. Oh because, shit! Like, Look Oscars. at this. Begin. Oscars carry so much weight. Oh yeah, that bear. Like you can totally trick yeah. the bear. The bear will open the statue. I know for a fact. All right. Can. Easy. Oh, there we go. It's already Ow. open. <laughs> Ow. Give it. Give it. Give it. What was that? Six. Smithing stone. All right. Smithing stone six. Yeah. Stop it! Stop! Stop, stop it! The bears are too fucking intense. The bears are very, very strong. They suck. Don't fuck with them. Jesus. Well, Gotta get those souls back. Highlights of that interview. Uh, uh. Can I add this to BRB? I don't know. Let's find out. What interview we got? The Ninja remix? Doesn't she claim the song? So no, I'm not adding it. And also, I don't want a fucking Ninja remix in my thing anyway. Why is there a furry in the... Yeah, maybe don't...
add a song that's like incredibly racist. <laughs> that might be bad. Yeah, where the fuck was I? Where's my shit? Where did I go? Did I go this way? Yeah, I did. Did I get? Uh, was it this way? The Academy voters. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a highlight on YouTube of that. I assumed you meant something on my channel. Yeah, uh, I have a couple Oscars related videos. Uh, the one on the Dear Leslie controversy is probably like most relevant to uh, like Oscar voters and how much they suck. Hey, Electrica. Um, Yeah, there's like the Dear Leslie one. There's there's also one about the Oscars stupid fucking rules where like foreign films have to be like one film per country. Yeah. Which is so dumb. And the government decides. <laughs> yeah, well Which is which why Anatomy of a Fall. Yeah, yeah Anatomy of a Fall, that know. that was it. Yeah. Director criticized the French government, so you don't Oopsie. get a nom. Fun. It has to be government friendly. Okay, right, you're get in the, the fuck out of here. It's a bear country. You're very close. <laughs> now, fuck you. Did I not get anything for that? Oh shit! Uh, but yeah, the Dear Leslie one, or like... What about uh, Dear Lesby? That's even better. What about... D-E-E-R... <laughs> Lesby? <laughs> I've seen a few of those. Same. Alright, we need... 20 thou. To hundo. Yeah, that's like the other dumb thing. <laughs> like Barbie isn't an original. Like, what do you mean it's adapted? Adapted from a plastic doll? <laughs> what? Ninety-five. Okay, wait. This is two thousand times four is eight thousand. Seventy-five hundred is fifteen fifty. Plus, wait, thirty-eight hundred times five. What's 800 times 5? It's 400. So that's 19,000. Uh, Jojo wanted then... to know what you rated deliverance, but the bot thinks it meant Kiki's delivery service. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I need 1,200. War is over was... Very funny how bad it was. Sonics runs YMS clips. I haven't seen Kiki's delivery service since I was little. I don't All remember right. most of it. So, what's the soft, soft cap for Vig? I'll check the soft caps. Hold on. Riding in the Sun 2023. I've caps. seen two films from the same director. What is this? Okay, the soft cap for Vigor is either 40 or 60. Uh, so, like, 60 is like the highest you can get it without, like, the diminishing returns. Sixty? Yeah. Okay. 
60 or 40. Let you pick one. What do you mean, or 40? Uh, the, the soft caps kind of have, like, different things. Like, 40... You, you get diminishing returns at 40, but then, like, even more at 60. Fucking cra- this, this, if this is the director from Crystal Fairy and huh? the Magic Cat, Magical Cactus, then I don't think I want to watch the film. I mean, it's on my watch what? list for some reason. Rotting in the Sun? Crystal Fairy and the Magical Cactus was one of the worst fucking pieces of shit I've ever seen in my entire life. It was that is so a embarrassing. Fascinating knit title. It's Crystal got, Fairy and the Magical Cactus. It's got Michael Sarah. It was, it was like, the it was terrible it was like actually so fucking bad <laughs> okay um so with vig soft cap 40 and 60 or whatever going from 41 to 42 it looks like it's still doing things um but you're saying yeah, it, it will have like non noticeable at sixty. Yeah, like you'll, if I level you'll up get one like, more, it like won't do anything. Basically? More diminishing returns, I believe. Oh, okay, more uh, diminishing. So it still does things, just not as good. Um, yeah. Okay, I I would like Vig sixty as well, uh, more and health then is good. endurance, and then Dex are like the only ones I would have to worry about beyond that point. And then what does mine do again? Gives me more FP. Yeah, that's Might also well. a good one because yeah. of how often you use your katana. I might as well get mined to 20. Yeah, I, I try to, like, upgrade mind when I can. Yeah, I forgot about that one for a while, so. The blessings matter more in the DLC than your level. What are What's a blessing? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I haven't. I've barely touched the DLC. Uh, I mean, you can't. I don't know if you can really just tell from a trailer how good something is, Pixel. What trailer did they watch? Crystal Fairy and Magical Cactus. Did they say it was good? Uh. <laughs> What are they saying about it? <laughs> uh, just asking, like, what's wrong with it? It's it's embarrassingly f filmed. It's one of those movies where, like, there's sequences where you have to have an understanding of what they were trying to do because what they show is not what they tried to do. It's like, oh, you were t you were going for that, and it's embarrassing because uh. you have to figure out what they were trying like. It's just terribly communicated emotions and concepts and yeah. Aura! Hey! Hello. How are you? And yeah, Twitch mobile fucking sucks. <laughs> it updated without my consent. I'm gonna um, have to go APK or something. Should we place bets on like when Twitch is going to like die? Because I don't think it. I think it'll literally just stop existing at some point. I literally I feel mean, as though, I as if like guess. YouTube streaming will be the only thing. Like Twitch is just gonna stop. Because they're not making money. I really it's owned know. by Jeff Bezos. What do you think he's gonna do? Oh, thank you, Knack Five. I appreciate it. Ooh, five subs, sick. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. I'd give it another five happen. years. Five years, huh? That's my lock of the week. <laughs> uh, what day is it? It's August 4th, 2024. By August, by the, let's say by 2030. That's a little over five years. By 2030, Twitch is definitely not existing anymore. All right. Someone hold him to that. Make a clip. Otherwise, I have to kiss myself as the loser. Will kick be around? Probably not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Kick my head. Kick has it. such a bad like optics issue. Yeah, but okay, yeah. you're really close. You, you, this, yeah. There's a fucking boss. Maggie. Uh, 
you are very close to the spell. Okay, well, let's uh, stop shooting me. Yeah, kill ding, the boss ding. first, and then uh, I can point out exactly where you have to go. Uh, but uh -oh. you're going. Ah! Fucking! All right, do I have to? Why do I have to kill the boss with all these dummies around? Nine Is this Maggie? Months. Absolutely That's the wild. boss right there. Why and do they have when friends? When you kill, when you, you kill her, go across that like stone platform and then yep. take a left, and you'll find it. Fuck. Fuck your friends. Ow! 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 Yeah, Kick has like a lot of optics issues. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like they, they sign like the worst fucking people on the planet. Yeah. But, and also, I mean, there's a lot of pedos. Yeah, like Twitter. <laughs> Twitter's still around. <laughs> yeah. For now. <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck. Like, I don't know how yeah, long is. Twitter's gonna have. Where's my friend? It seems to just. It seems to just keep getting. Where the fuck worse. is my friend? It feels like every month Elon has a new update that's like the death of Twitter. I summoned a friend and now they don't exist. What the hell happened? Where are they? Are they distracted? Uh, did they die? I don't know. How the fuck I did they die lost. if they died? Are they just hanging out? Did they get lost? Where the hell? To be fair, Electrica, I get Nazis on Twitch too. There's just more transphobic messages on my kick than my Twitch. Oh, for sure. Which, you know. That's unsurprising. Whatever. I got a whole transphobic raid on Twitch, though. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Like, literally every chatter was, like, misgendering me, and the person they came from didn't seem to, like, okay it. They just did it out of nowhere. Oh. That was so fucked. Yeah, that was pretty bad. They like went to her chat and were like, we pissed off the furry guy, blah, blah. It's like, all right. Okay, this guy's a bitch. Honestly, I find it more embarrassing yeah. than anything when people misgender me. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you're just saying something wrong. It's like, obviously it very important to them, it. which is part it of It doesn't matter how much you repeat it. You're still saying something that's like wrong. Yeah, Modern it's, psychologists. It's interesting that it matters best. so much to them. All right, I killed this. All right. First try. Now, on that stone, yeah, right there. Go that way. Left. You see a guy with like a crystal on his head? There he is. Yeah, talk to him. He I'm will give you first. the uh, spell. The spell takes up two casting slots, so. Okay. Up, you might, I mean, there's a bunch I don't use, so. Yeah. I thought I put. Oh. Okay. The Good conversation. Also, Thank like, you. Yeah, the spell also, like, chews through your MP uh, well. pretty fast, so getting your mind up is a good idea. So you're saying it's goblin my mind? Also, uh, Dex is also important because, like, it's a very slow spell. The buildup takes a while, uh, but it, it's faster. Oh, Dex to helps raise with Dex. that. Okay, oh, yeah. I believe so. I might be wrong about that. Well, I don't use Meteor, right? Wants to correct me, but I don't think I'm wrong. Where is it? Where's that uh, comment? Comment sure. It's... Oh, I see it. Um, it's grayed out, because you only have one slot open. Oh, but how do... Okay, well, how do I... Oh, just remove. It's on the left. Hmm? Up one, up, that. down. That's it, yeah. Uh, what do you mean I Oh, it's a three-slotter. Slot okay, mind. that's fine. I'll get rid of Terra Magica, which I also never use. This spell is very good, but it's also 
slow as fuck. Dex does help. Okay. I'm glad I'm not wrong then. All right. All right. I need like 66,000, which I pr I'm not even going to check because I know I don't have that much in my... Yeah, you also have to like hold the button down uh, later, Tora. Okay. I would definitely try testing it out on like a generic enemy just to like get used to it. Mm -hmm. Like see how it goes. Because it's always risky to use even though it's very powerful. I think Commodore Azure is overrated. It's pretty fucking good. Like if you don't have the stats for it, I can see why you'd think it's overrated, why? but like... Can't I pick it up? Pick it, it up! It very much depends how you use it. There. All that for a golden rune one. I mean, it wasn't all... It was just me yelling. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and then I can grab more stone sword keys. Yeah, de yeah, death impression. Pick it, Pick it up. up. Oh, Hell death. yeah! Fucking great character. Sounds like something a furry would say. I mean... What's a furry? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, one of these... I hate heroes tombs. If the boss has heavy input read, it's pretty useless. Yeah, it can be. What is input read? They just dodge things? Uh, more? how it, like... Some bosses avoid attacks more than others like melania who is before the dlc was considered the hardest boss like i'm pretty sure she had it like pretty big okay like she dodges every fucking spell so i have unlocked a few different sites of grace here that are like either tombs or whatever oh um, is there a better spell in the dlc that's like the same requirement cool uh, okay. Um, so what I want to do first is buy some stone sword keys anyway. Just so I have them. Yep. Twin maiden husks and round table hold. Oh, what? From this... Oh, fuck you. Gotta go outside first. Oops. I don't know why that's a rule where you can't pass travel when you're like in a underground. Yeah, I don't know why they bothered. Like, it's kind of a standard for a lot of other games. Like, Skyrim does that or whatever, but like, I don't know why. It doesn't. Like, it wouldn't really mean anything if. Like, they just took it out of Elden Ring. Some of the poses people ask for are wild. Yeah, I'd imagine. There's money in furry porn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's the twin maiden? Uh, the other way. Yeah, right through there. They're on the right. Yeah, what the right. hell? Is... I know, but what's the red person? Oh, that's Dung Eater. Zero. Ah, uh, looks like you bought them all already. Uh, I think... Um... Is the Invincible Let's Do discussion on the newest Zardonicast episode spoiler-free? Uh... Uh... Kind of? Because nothing really happens the whole season? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, 
Yeah. The, you, it's up to interpretation whether or not it's a spoiler-free review. Season 2 Electrica of Invincible. And yeah, it's... I haven't finished Season 2. Uh, really not amazed by it. Uh, there's other merchants that sell stone sword keys. Uh, I already got two from some of these shops. Oh, okay. So I got a couple, which is nice. Old Don't dung baby. With your whole being. This guy I'll eats the poo poo. Itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <sighs> <sighs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb. You no longer even have been long. All right. Yeah, this guy um, literally like shoves his hand up people's asses and rips their souls out to eat. I might. Should I play another hour or should I go to bed? Because I'm thinking I'm kind of tired. I might try to do an early night. If you want to go to bed now, that's fine. Jackbox is not on the table for <laughs> what I just said. Thank you. That's a... uh, yeah, I think I'll Up I think I'll you. call it an early night. Uh, I have enough um, All right. uploads to last and make up for the fact that I'm not streaming awesome. next Sunday. Um, uh, the and Sunday then I'll be back in Vancouver be. for three Sunday streams. Then I'll be gone to Sunday streams for TIFF, and then I'll be back in Atlanta for a few before I start moving. All right. Well, I'll see you late again later then. Uh, yes. Thank you. That was fun. This was fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I have stone like sword keys and so the You're things cool. on my map. <laughs> that'll be a good place to pick up next time. I'll just use the key on the thing. Uh, I'm going to start my own stream now. Uh, later. Later, bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs>